Hello, uh, welcome to part two of my unpack with um, of the the finds that I got at the um, historic site. They had a um, bag sale a couple of weeks ago, and I have I did do the unpack of the five dollar box. So now you're going to see the unpack of the five dollar bag. That I got there. So I haven't looked at it since then, so it might be as full of surprises now as it was then when I picked these things up. So one of the first things that I'm going to show you are these little, they're basically coin purses. Um, they're from Ireland. They're Irish wool. Um, the name of the company, I think, is Aran. If I'm not mistaken, yes, there it is right there. And these all have hang tags on them. I have four of them. And they're all the same. The blue, I think it was called Kerry Blue or something. And they are coin purses, like I said. And look at what the tag says. Originally $54. Um as a retail price. It looks like it was marked down 40%, but even that is a lot of money, right? For a coin purse, $36. So I'm thinking I could probably on eBay, maybe get $20 a piece, I'm hoping. Maybe $15 a piece. Um, but it's nice, because then again, I can list them as a multi, like one item, but then I have multiples of them. So um, it makes it a little easier. Um, listing wise. So this I use for packing, but I also thought these were really nice. These are like throw pillow covers and they're all embroidered. See the embroidery. It's very pretty. So and they just slip in. Um so I think this is like about a whatever 14 inch square maybe. Uh, maybe a 16 inch square. So I have a pair of them. I'll see what I can get for those. So that was a nice little find. I don't know how pillow covers sell, but I will find out. Um, and there's these little gems that I put in my bag. And they're the little Campbell Soups kits. I recognize those from like the 60s. And they look to me like they were like a Thanksgiving pair, right? Doesn't this guy look like a little pilgrim or something? Um, so I couldn't find them exactly in comps, but I think they'll sell very well. Like, I think I'll be able to get $30, $35 maybe. Um, so once I list them, I'll see what the demand is. But for right now, I'm going to put them down. Okay, so what's next? Oh, okay. So here's my other pillowcase. Ta-da! second pillowcase and then I have it wrapping these so I thought these were interesting this is going to take a little bit of um, investigation on my part um, they're they are like a glass um, it looks like transfer wear but it's not typical um, it looks maybe tropical or islandy or Indian I'm not sure um, there is a you could see that it was kind of wrapped the transfer print there's like a line I don't know if you could see it but there's like a, a distinctive line right there where it looks like the the pr uh, print was wrapped so they look kind of um, 70 ish 60s ish middle of last century kind of feeling um, I haven't done any looking up on any of this stuff because, like I said, um, this is coming straight from the day that I put it all in the bag and now I'm unpacking it. So um, this is from Pottery Barn. And just because Pottery Barn is just a good label, I picked it up. Never used. Still has the tag on it, $7.00. I'm not sure if I'm going to wind up selling it or not because I'm trying to steer away now from selling things 
that are like under $10. I'm trying to only sell things that are more so that my effort is not, uh, that I'm not putting forth a lot of effort to sell some five things that are $10 and I have to put together five packages. And I would rather put one package together that sells for $50. That, that's what I'd like to do. See how that works out. So this is a lid to a, you guessed it, a ginger jar or some kind of, get the jar out. It's right here. I forgot all about this one. And I just listed another ginger jar that has a busted lid actually. I don't know if it's the same maker. That one was by Gold Imari. Um, and I know it was hand painted. And actually, oh, I should have pulled out the other ginger jars because it's a good, um, it's a good lesson here. Um, this it looks like might have been hand done or hand detailed. Maybe not. Nah, it doesn't look hand painted. So I'm not sure if it's gonna go for a good deal of money, but it should be. I would think still a $20, $25 item. It is stamped with an, uh, a maker stamp or um, I will probably take a photo of this and put it on that um, one of the Facebook pages that I belong to to see if anybody can identify it. Um, one of my favorites is called the Thrifting Board. So here's a shout out to Jason T. Smith who runs the Thrifting Board. Um, it's a great Facebook site if you're a reseller because um, it's, it's got a lot of members, a lot of knowledge there. Um, I've learned a lot and I've also had to ask a few questions myself. Um, so this was a great little item and this, I think it says Loonville. It's French. It's just a little pottery bowl. But when I looked up comps when I was at the sale event, which I do, I pull out my phone. I'm one of those annoying people. But um, it looked like comps sold for about $30 for just like a little bowl like this. So I could try my luck. And Oh, there's three of those. Ooh, bonus. Those little throw pillow uh, covers. I apparently have another one so there were three 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 here's number three so they're all identical i wish they had a label on them but i haven't looked that hard yet they might um and this well so now you know i'm in Pen bethlehem pennsylvania or near bethlehem pennsylvania actually in allentown but we have something called music fest People come from all over the country to come to Music Fest. Um, so this might be a collectible. It's stamped. Um, there's nothing on the bottom, but it is stamped on the side there. It's pottery. Um, so this was from 1987, which was near the very beginning. I believe Music Fest started in 84 or 85, somewhere in there when I was still in college at Lehigh. Um, so I'm going to see if there's any value in that. If not, oh, well, it's a nifty little keepsake, right? Um, let's see. Let's wrap the newspaper. Oh, uh, this was from a little tavern in Will Colonial Williamsburg called ooh, Shields Tavern. And I know that because it's on the back. Um, and I saw some larger dishes, single dishes that were larger that had sold for about $50. And that I could see because it's a serving plate. I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna command any price because it's just a single like dessert plate or salad plate. But worth it to put in your $5 bag, right? I'm not sure why I picked this up. I think, I don't know, I do costume design sometimes and work with community theater, so 
I thought they might come in handy. That's one of those things that I just threw in and said, yeah, I'll probably use it for something. Um, and this is the last of it. No, I forgot. Oh, I know what these are. So here they are, these little mystery boxes, right? Well, it says right on the top, uh, Nanny Steaks set of four. So they were some kind, they were new in box. They've never been used. So I thought that that was really great because I think it'll have really good resale value. They're like these pottery, if I could pull one out. Oh, they're all packaged in here so nicely. Oh, I'll take out the whole thing maybe. They're these pottery, you can see them. They're like these pottery stakes that you put in and I guess you plant something in them. I'm gonna look them up. I did look them up while I was at the sale and I remember seeing that a box of these sold for about $25, again, that magic little price. Um, but I have two boxes. So if that works out for me, be 50 to $60, which would be great. And I've come to the bottom of my bag. So that's all, but that's a lot. And i um, very excited. If you want to see how any of these things turn out, or um, you can certainly look at my eBay store link and um, see what I have things priced at. Maybe I'll give you a hint at how my research went on some of them. Um, it will take me probably a couple of weeks from now to get them all posted up, but um, I'll be working on that. So thanks for joining me and uh, tune in next time. Okay, bye.